I'm back. The reality. Go away. No one likes you. There we go. We'll fix. The green screen's behaving today. It's not a lot of flickering. There is down there, but there's always down there. I can hide it with my elbow. Alright, back to the game. So, when you spawn in this one, you just want to walk towards the door. Truman Show style. I like to paint my name on the wall. Uh, three. If you want to paint something on the wall, three letters is about the maximum you can do without sort of accidentally going the wrong way and wasting time. Um, and then get up onto the stairs. That's basically really easy. You just hold forward and go up a bit. If you don't go up a bit, you'll go down and drown. So don't do that. Um, you then want to orange gel your way up the stairs. Why they? G I think they gave you gel so that you could paint stuff on the wall. But it's absolutely broken. They could have just not given you gel at the beginning of this, and it, it, well, you wouldn't be able to do this skip. But this is the Fizzler skip. Um, it can be a little bit complicated. So first of all, you want to paint blue gel on the floor around here. Um, crouch. Crouch because it's easier to aim this. And then you want to sort of aim for the, the second sort of gap, uh, bridge between the, the gaps here. Um, not this one this one. So I will do this sort of slow motion, um, but basically what you want to do is strafe to the left so that you sort of go up there and around, and then you want to strafe away from the Fizzler because uh, there's actually quite um, sort of around here. There you go. So I can't spray gel here. It's sort of... Oh. That was a really bad example. But if you're sort of around here, it will cancel your gel again, so you want to be right onto the, uh, the catwalk. So I'll show you that quickly. And then like that. I like to go on the railing because it means you can cut corners around here and sort of save two hops, which is some time. So I'll do that in slow motion, just show you what's going on. So you want to jump up and then... Ooh, this is hard to do in slow motion. Jump up and strafe to the left. If you fire gel, you can tell that you've got it right. And then you want to land sort of over here. You can land on the catwalk if you want, but I prefer to land on the railing. So, once again in full speed. Aim for the second bridge along. Ooh, missed. And there you go. <laughs> I fell. It's alright. If you don't do that, you won't be able to use gel after it. Um, and then having gel for the next chamber allows us to skip everything, basically. <laughs> Pretty much everything. So you want gel up here, paint blue gel on the ground, line up this, oops. That will happen if you haven't lined it up properly. And then strafe around it. So I like to bunny hop along the railings here, it's a bit dangerous if you're not very good at bunny hopping. Um, you can kill yourself doing that, but I do it so I can skip those corners. Right, and you want to orange gel into the tube, turn around, orange gel out of the tube towards the door and along here. So you want to line up your orange gel going towards, uh, I guess that, laser receptacle over there, that doesn't matter. Most of the time painting a cube orange is irrelevant. Um, if you sort of drop it while you're running that'll make it slide around, but you can just be careful when you're dropping your cube and it won't do that. So. Uh, there's a way you can do this to make it more consistent. Um, I'll show you what happens when you don't do it. So if I just run along here and I don't crouch, if I just jump, um, I'll miss. Simple enough. Damn it. Whatever. We've got the um, oh, my nose is itching. Again. Okay, so if I just hold crouch, I didn't. Ah. Duh. Sorry. Alright, so spray your gel along. If I just hold... <laughs> I pressed catch too early. That's what happened there. I'm such an idiot. In before chat shouts at me for being stupid. Right, so if I just hold crouch, I'll fall off the end. So you might ask yourself, crouch, don't crouch, it doesn't work. So what do you do? Uh, that's not water, that's just mist. This is a forest, so it's not grass underwater, it's just grass under what looks like toxic gas. Alright, so what do you do? Um, you crouch when you first jump, and then once you get sort of above the platform, uncrouch. So, like this. And then, oh, I stood up. 
Right, the reason why that happened um, is probably because I was too far backwards. So stand in a place where you can grab, grab, grab the cube and you'll automatically be in the right place, so it's sort of a bit forward of where this fizzler is. I swear, this is not hard when you're in a run, it's just because I'm trying to do this bit by bit, it sort of makes it a bit more difficult. So grab the cube, and then uncrouch like that, and then you won't go off the edge. Blue gel, up here, line up the cube, and then you can um, line up the orange gel like this. Do your crouch boost, and then put blue gel at the end. Crouch, so you will make it. Um, I mean, you can make it without crouching if your jump arc is perfect and you bounce at just the right time, but what's the likelihood that that's going to happen? So always crouch when you're doing jumps like that, and then you can go into this. You should have noticed that the flow direction on the green fizzlers matter. If you did not notice submission. That, please fill out the appropriate submission, submission form at the end of the, the test. test. So that's the dialogue cue for that. Well, I'll do that all full speed, and then we'll go on to the next chamber. So if you want, you can paint something on the walls here. Just make sure you're not looking too far away from where you're going. So you don't sort of make that slower than it needs to be. Blue gel. Do your um, fizzler skip. Perfect. It's worth taking a second to make sure that you haven't accidentally um, cancelled the glitch. Or like, just accidentally hit the fizzler as you're going past it. In which case you'll need to go and do it again. So grab the cube, run along. I painted gel too early. That happens sometimes. Make sure you're right at the edge when you paint the gel, otherwise you won't be going fast enough and it won't jump for you. Like that. Stand up. And then do your uh, the thing towards the end. I got gel preserve. That happens sometimes. I messed up. Remember to go in the tube on the word submission. At the beginning of the word submission. Right. Uh, again, walk off the platform. Hop towards the door. Go to the right here. Press this button and then walk through the fizzler. Um, as soon as you go through the fizzler, you can paint blue gel on the ground and jump over to the button. Press the button, walk onto this thing here. I messed that up. Let me explain this beforehand because it's hard to explain while that's happening. So you want to hit the button, walk onto this and spray blue gel on there and then you can catch the sphere as it's coming out. Like so. And then you want to hop along, so maintain your speed. If you're about to go on blue gel like that, this is something I probably should have explained earlier, but um, you can hop along blue gel by holding crouch. So I can jump along here and not bounce because I'm holding down crouch. Alright, so once you like get along here, you only have to touch this to the receptacle and then you can just bugger off. Um, yeah, so you only need to touch it to that, you don't need to put it on there. You have time to put it on there if you really want to, but it doesn't really matter. And then grab the cube and place it onto the receptacle there. Lovely. And then you want to hop around to here. So, just like the third, second, fourth chamber, I think. This only works if you're standing on blue gel when you jump. If you hop onto blue gel, you won't go high enough. So make sure you're standing on the blue gel. Do a circle jump up to here. Bounce, and then at the top of your arc, paint blue gel and bounce, and then strafe along here. Like that. So I'll do that all quickly there. So hop through the door, round to the right, press the button. Blue gel over to the button, press it, paint over there, grab the sphere, hop, hop, place it onto there, throw it away, or put it on there if you really want to. Grab the cube, turn around and put the laser over there. Jump on the blue gel, bounce, bounce, and then strafe. You have to strafe, otherwise you won't make it. We have more funding. On the word funding. Right. Uh, there's another one where you walk off the platform to activate the dialogue and open the door. 
This one's cool. So stand over here between the button and the tube and grab the, uh, the cube as it falls out. Place it on the button. So you only need to touch the fizzler like that. You don't need to go through it. You don't need to come along this side and go through it. You only need to touch it um, until it shakes. And then you want to paint orange gel along here. Grab the cube. Uh, do your crouch boost and then jump along to here. Now I'm holding the cube at an angle, you don't want to do that. So if you are holding the cube at an angle, it just depends how you pick it off off the button. I wouldn't spend too much time making sure you're doing it the right way. Because when you get along here, you can just drop it and then pick it up so that it's facing you. Really important that it's facing you because of this next trick. So I have a setup for this. Um, if you stand sort of on the corner of the face plate right here, and you look towards... I'll drop the cube so you can see this. Look towards the blue light. Drop the cube. And then as soon as you drop the cube, hold it up in the air a little bit, it gives you more time. Uh, as soon as you drop the cube, walk forwards. And then strafe to the right. And then you'll be up here. So you just bounced off the cube, basically. Um, as soon as the cycle's right, it depends how fast you did everything before as to what the cycle is. Uh, it's sometimes worth just waiting for it to do another one so you can time this properly. That's faster than dying. So don't be a hero. Wait for it like that, and then run along. Jump so that the orange gel doesn't screw you over. And then place orange gel like this. Um, so you want to aim towards that corner there. Slow-mo? Yeah, we'll do it slow-mo uh, in a second. Um, aim towards the corner over here. Run and jump. So you're over here. As you're coming down, place your orange gel along here. Look towards the end over there, and uh, do your crouch boost and jump. Place blue gel down here. Ooh, that's never happened before. I don't know whether... Oh, it's up here. Okay. Alright, so you want to pre-place your orange gel like that. That didn't go very well, but that's fine. Jump. Bounce. And then you're up here. And then you just have to crouch boost and jump along to this platform. So I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do the... the cube bounce and slow motion just so you guys can see the timing of it and how it works. Right, so grab this cube just as it comes out of the tube. Oops, I missed. Just touch the fizzler and you'll have your gel. Crouch boost and jump. You don't have blue gel so you can't use the blue gel there. Um, right, and we'll go slow motion. So aim towards uh, the blue light while you're standing on the corner of the faith plate here. Look in the air a little bit, drop it, walk forwards, and you can bounce off it, and then you can strafe up here. Crouch if you need to. Um, I would just crouch anyway, just in case you don't quite make it high enough to do it standing up. Uh, wait for the right cycle, and then you can run along here. Spray orange gel here, run along. Pre-place your gel here. Bounce. Bounce. Crouch boost. Bounce. Right, and then place gel leading up to the door and stand at the end. Wait until the fireworks go off. And then walk forwards, and then as soon as the door opens, stand up and jump towards the uh, the tube there. You should just make it into the tube so you won't jump past it. Uh, I've never jumped past it, so I don't know if that's something that happens, as long as you stand up as soon as the door opens. So I'll do it fast now. Just at full speed so you can see what it looks like. The cube's at the wrong angle. So as soon as I get over here, I'll drop it. Oop. Pick it up again. Do the cube bounce. Wait for the right cycle. There we go. Along here. Pre-place your orange gel. Crouch boost and bounce. Bounce again. Crouch boost, bounce. Place your orange gel leading up to the door. Wait for the fireworks to go off. And then stand up. So I, I did it slightly before, it doesn't really matter, you've got quite a long uh, lineup to do. Just as long as it's around when the fireworks go off. Uh, next chamber, again another one where you want to walk off and then hop towards the door. Right, this one's fun, it has the coolest glitch in the game in my opinion. Hey Mirror's Edge, how's it going? Right, so place blue gel on the corner and you want to strafe towards uh, this corner over here. Place blue gel on it and then bounce and strafe towards the uh, fizzler here, that's fairly straightforward. 
This is one of the reasons why you want to have used bound to mouse up. So you want to press the button straight along here. I should point out that if that hits you, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you jump um, and then straight to the right, it won't kill you. So I'll go back along here. So you press that button, run along here, and then quickly press that one. So you can just scroll your mouse wheel up as you go past it and you should be able to hit it. Hit this last one. Uh, place orange over here and stand sort of near the edge. Then just run forwards and jump. Don't do a crouch boost, you don't need to. Um, if I hadn't waited there, I should be standing here as it's dropping down. So you want to like grab it and then place it over here. Right, so now you want to stand towards the edge here. This is called the, um, the, the tube stick glitch, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of strafe in between these tubes and try and get myself stuck. Uh, you can do it just coming down. If you don't, don't worry, I'll show you what to do if that happens. So I did get stuck, I just wait for a little bit, and then I don't actually know what- Oh! That hasn't happened in a long time actually. Oh, it's alright, got it! <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. I know what I did wrong. So run along here, grab it, oh, grab the cube, place it towards the, uh, the laser receptacle there. The tube stuck launch, okay. It's called the tube- I, the name doesn't matter, just as long as you know how to do it. So if you mess it up and you don't get stuck straight away, just place Blue Jar there and then start sort of like strafing into it. Hang on, I'll uh... I think I know what to do here to show you something. Just crouch there, there we go. So you just want to sort of bounce and then keep trying to strafe into it until eventually... I don't know if I can do it from this height, there we go, you get stuck. So the reason why that happens Oh, and then you want to strafe towards this railing. Good. I'm glad that happened, because I can explain something then. Those railings will hurt you, and it will take three hits to kill you. So you want to make sure that you only touch it twice in a row, uh, so you don't die. Right. So do the stock launch. If you're not high enough like that, just bounce down here. Make sure you only hit the railing twice, and then go towards here. The reason why you don't do it once over here is because for some bizarre reason you can't place gel here. So you're better off just hopping along here and just landing down there where you can place gel. What's the cue for this one? Make. Ah, it was too early. Anyone know what this game is called? It's one of the stage ones. Laser relay, I think. Okay, so I'll do that full speed just to show you guys. Walk off the platform, jump on the edge here, bounce down there, strafe towards the fizzler, press the button, press this button, press that button, run along this orange shell, don't crouch boost. Grab the cube and place that towards the uh, receptacle. Do the stuck launch. If you're not high enough, which I wasn't. The longer you wait, the higher you are. Try not to go too high, otherwise you'll see what happened right at the beginning where you sort of uh, hit the tube at the top at a weird angle and fly off over there. I got lucky and I just landed where I needed to go. That was luck. Um, so you're better off doing it... Uh, you're better off doing a sh jump that's too short rather than too long. Because it might kill you. Next chamber. Walk off the platform. Hop towards the door. You want to strafe. Uh, not strafe. Orange gel over here. And then place blue gel there. So I had to do that really quickly because if I loaded the game. If I loaded the level again, uh, it wouldn't have done that. And it's hard to do. Hard to show you. But if you place Bujo here, there's about a 50% chance that it will hit the wall and just hand you the cube. Um, sometimes it won't, which is fine. It's sort of an RNG type thing. Which sounds a random number generator. So, go through here, jump, place Blue Gel on the wall, and then while you're waiting for the, the cube to do that, you want to place Orange Gel along here. And then, sort of, you have a bit of time doing it, 
But if you place this in just the right amount of time, you can turn around and grab the cube as the game hands it to you. Right, so stand sort of roughly about here. Uh, not right at the end here, just sort of like near the middle. Then you want to look towards uh, the faceplate over there, run along, and then jump at the end. And you'll land on it, go bounce, do some 360s because you're cool. And then you'll land on this platform here. So, line up that cube. Now this used to be the hardest glitch in the game until we had like jail preserve roots and strafe boosts. Um, but this might take a little bit of practice. So you want to paint blue gel along this sort of railing around here. Mainly sort of just up to the here. You don't need to sort of paint the whole thing all along. Just sort of, you know, this bit, this little section right here. Maybe a little bit longer if you want to be safe. And then you want to place orange gel down here. So you want to be about halfway along. Sort of like two prongs along from the uh, the speaker. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it might, it would work from here, it would work from here, just wherever you happen to be when you sort of did that. So we're going to do a crouch boost and we're going to go, come along here and then when you let go of crouch you want to be aiming towards uh, the far corner of this pillar there. So I'll do it in slow motion. And then you want to bounce along there. And then you'll land over here. I forgot to make a quick save, so I don't know where this is going to put me. That's fine. So I'll do it at full speed now. That was in slow motion. You have a lot less time to line it up. That's why it takes a little bit of practice. There you go. Um, yeah. And then you go along to the end here. And that's that chamber done. So I'll do it all full speed again, just show you what it looks like. Walk off the platform, pop through the door. Gel yourself over here, paint one on the wall. Right, so we didn't do it that time. Again, it was like a 50-50 chance. If it doesn't, it's fine, just go and pick up the cube. Run towards the uh, faith plates, and then gel your way over there. Line up the cube, put the blue gel on over there, and then do your crouch boost. And then you'll land over at the exit. It might take a bit of practice, but it's, it's alright, it's not too bad. Um, you can get it fairly consistent, you can basically do 100% of the time, uh, not considering occasional screw-ups, which always happen. You will occasionally screw up on some things, don't beat yourself up about it, everyone does it. We're not perfect. Right, just like the other ones, walk off. Right, so this is, this one's basically the reason I made a new tutorial, because this one was so outdated. Uh, a lot of the other ones were too, but this is sort of what drew my attention to the fact that a new tutorial needs to be made. So, when you come through the Fizzler, you want to be sort of looking down and holding left click, so that you paint the ground straight away, and then you want to jump and straight to the left over here. Then you want to paint up here. Be careful, because if you walk into the side of the cliff there, it will make you bounce, and you don't want that to happen, so stay away from the cliff edge there. Uh, you want to strafe jump your way over to this little, it's a small target, so this might require a bit of uh, a bit of practice, but over to the edge of the platform there. Paint gel on it and bounce up to here. Lovely, I thought I was going to screw that up, but I didn't. Paint blue gel on the wall, orange gel on the ground, whoops, misclicked. Stand at the edge over here, maybe a little bit to the left of it. Look in the middle, it's important, in the middle of that section of the pillar. If you look over here, you'll bounce wrong, and you won't end up where you want to go. So look in the middle, maybe towards the right. Then crouch boost and place blue gel uh, at the end of the platform, like so. And you should find yourself at the exit. So I'll do that full speed. Just show you what it looks like. Do you feel angry at the end of a test chamber, or alone, or depressed? The new Aperture Science Exotic Location Staging will eliminate all of those feelings by simulating the authentic outsides that you and the world to work. There we go. Good job! If you think that you still experience the negative emotion while testing, fill out the appropriate... Submission is when I should have gone in. I didn't, sorry. But submission is the keyword there that you should go into the tube to get the fast fade. I forget about them all the time. Uh, it doesn't waste that much time forgetting about them. It doesn't save that much time doing them, but you may as well, right? Okay, so again, walk off, so 
hop towards the door. This one can be a bit, a little bit annoying. Um, so you want to jump on the blue gel and crouch your way up to the top there. So you just jump, strafe and crouch and then you'll be up here just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump and strafe onto the railing walk up until we've been hit twice by it and then jump off over there don't get hit the third time or you will die okay so we jump up here paint blue gel and then strafe onto this that's what happens if you get hit three times i did that on purpose to show you i swear there you go so two and a bit times so just before it hits you the third time it's a regular pattern it's always the same distance in between them. So wait until it's just about to hit you the third time, then jump off. And that's the whole chamber, it's really simple. Simple, but it's a little bit tricky to do. I do die a lot on this one sometimes. There we go. There's a lot of dialogue overlap. See, it's insignificant. Great scientific progress is what we want to hear. So on the word progress is when you go through. Next chamber. Second to last chamber. So hop through the door, again walk off the platform, and then come up to this one. So this is the last use of the gel preserve glitch. Because we're on this side, um, you want to start doing sort of like the side bits straight away. There's no reason to sort of come through here and then try and do it that way because that doesn't work. So walk through it and then walk back and then try and let go as you sort of, as it just deactivates your gel. Uh, it might take a while, it might be really quick. It's sort of a bit of luck to be honest. So there we go, we've got it. So after you've got your, your gel preserve, um, you want to walk over here and paint the ground. And then circle jump over towards there and then once you're in the air, turn around and paint up to the top of there. So like so. And then you can deactivate the glitch. If you paint this cube um, before you've deactivated the glitch, so if you turn around to try and grab it before you've left click to deactivate it, uh, the cube will bounce all over the place and waste a lot of time depending on how it bounces, so don't do that. Alright, once you've got the cube, you want to circle jump over to here and crouch so you don't bounce. And then what we're going to do is we're going to circle jump uh, over around that way towards sort of the left of where the start of our gel is. And then we're going to strafe over to the right and then over there. So over here, this way, and then you have to look up. So you don't want the cube to go through this fizzler because it will destroy it. And uh, so you want to put it through the red bit. So I'll do that again, grab the cube. I guess we'll do it in slow motion. So jump up to the left, circle round to the right, strafe a bit, and then look straight upwards. And then there you go. Drop the cube on the button, go through the door, the job done. Right, so walk off the platform. Oh, BWTF, thank you for following me the stream. I'll three stop, sorry. Walk off the platform, hop through the door, keep hopping, do a gel preserve glitch, however many times it takes, I did it the second time there, which is pretty good. Turn around, if you don't get it, you can just sit here and sort of jump, but you ideally want to sort of paint it as you're jumping towards here so you don't waste any time. Deactivate your glitch by left clicking, grab the cube, oh my cubes are black because I have a texture pack, I should point that out before anyone gets confused. Um, then jump over here, crouch when you land on here because you don't want to bounce. Then jump to the left, circle around to the right, strafe and hold the cube up in the air. Put it on the button and then go through the door. The word end is this one, I remember this one. Acronyms now. So we'll just have to live with it. Although it will not be long for you. Because we're near the, the end of the test, of course. So end is the word that you want to enter in on that. The lasers have a different texture. Ah, I should point that out. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go back to the other map and show you something. Um, no, it's stage. 
Pick bounce. Yeah, pick bounce. Right, there we go. Jump through the door. I'm just gonna do this quickly. First time, oh yeah. Right, so in um, Agile Portal 2 and in Portal Stories Mail or any other mod, that is not what lasers that just kill the player and not the objects look like. It should be just lasers going across. Um, that should technically kill both the player and the cube. But they use the wrong texture, so don't worry about killing the cube going through that. One well, chat made me tell you that, but I guess it's important. So that's why the cube doesn't fizzle, because they've used the wrong texture. In any other game, that would fizzle the cube. Quality settings are part of the streamers, yeah, we're not quite there yet. End. I should have gone in on end, but I didn't. Because I'm an idiot. Alright, last chamber. We're almost done. Oh, yeah! This one's like an hour longer than the other one was. But I guess the routes are a bit more complicated this time around. So again, walk off the edge and then hop towards the door. Turn around and paint uh, gel um, in the corner here. Now, this is kind of important. Make sure you're touching the wall. Make sure you can't walk any further into the wall before you jump. And then jump. And then you want to turn around and place uh, gel where you're about to land on the corner here. Crouch, and then you'll be up here. Um, if you don't, if you're sort of like slightly behind and you do that, you won't make it. So you have to be touching the wall, otherwise you won't make the jump. Just in case that keeps happening to you and you don't know why, it's because you're not touching the wall when you jump. You have to be right in the corner. Just like that. Perfect. Pick up the cube. Now, this is another thing um, that will depend on what your bunny hop style is, but my uh, reference point to start is here. You want to do two hops, one that gets you right to the end here, and another that hops over in that direction. Then you want to look up. So, it's the same thing as before, where you're not fizzling the cube, you're sort of like holding the cube above the fizzler, so that looks like this. Just like that. I don't need to do that in slow motion, do I? It's fairly straightforward. Two hops, look up. And then you just use your blue gel over here. Crouch so you don't bounce everywhere. Right, now you want to place orange gel right on the corner here. As far along to the corner as you can. And then place the cube uh, on the laser, obviously. Right, so now um, the route used to be jump onto that and then go over there and then touch that and then back and then go over there. Have you seen my gel route there today? Yeah, but it's slower, so... I don't, I don't want to teach you guys slow routes because I want to convince you to just try these and keep trying these until you get them. That's how you get top times. You just have to get the, ugh, the fastest, hardest routes and just practice them and practice them and practice them until you get them. So don't be swayed by easy routes because they are slow. They are tempting, I know, but they are slow, so don't do them. Right, and then you want to do a crouch boost uh, around the corner and then until you're aiming that way onto the blue gel here just like so and then get on the platform and then we're almost done oh no we're gonna die oh such a troll my my cube maps are broken that's why the the water is pink and blue spray the uh, the turrets Oh, I caught one. This ah, it's good luck if it lands in the tube and starts bouncing up. I don't have any good luck today, apparently. I used it all on that unstable portal. Sorry, Hearthstone stuff. Aim and fire. You'd have to be really in. There we go. That's not solid, so they fall through that for some reason. Right, you want to do a circle jump before the uh, the platform stops right there, because it will launch you forward. If you jump af like while those cans are coming down, you will miss and you will die. So as soon as this door opens, just walk through. Don't jump, just walk, and you're done. Just wait for the um, 
reason for you to just wait for the it to cut to black and then the time is done. If you have live split with auto splitting, which you should, that's the way you should time this. Uh, it will stop it for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Right, I'll do this full speed to show you what it looks like. Make sure you're touching the wall. Two hops. Look up. Place gel right on the edge. Line up the cube. Crouch boost. Get on the platform. And then you're done. Speed runs with friends. In a way, Destiny is like speed running. It's about understanding mechanics and practice, but only, but it requires teamwork, sadly. So does Port 2 co-op, unless you do solo co-op. Straightforward. Just shoot the turrets. Don't die. I have died many times doing this. Uh, there's actually another video on my YouTube channel called like Worst Day Ever or something where I was almost had a PB run which still to this day would have been my PB um, but I was trying to show a viewer what Saturnium was so I waited for the, the thing is to come down, grab one and jump and then I missed the jump and died so that's why I say jump before the platform stops because you get an extra boost from the platform's momentum just like that walk into the center of the door and then when it opens you can walk through here like that and then just strafe in. And that's the run done! If you have any questions, you can comment, you can message me on Twitch, you can come into my Twitch channel. I stream five days a week, Tuesday to Saturday at 6pm GMT or BST, whatever we're on at the moment, the time in the UK. Um, and just ask in chat at Psycho... no, yeah. Twitch.tv slash Psycho962. I'll put it in the link. I'll put a link in the description. Whatever. Uh, I run this a lot on stream, so if you want to watch me run, if you want to ask questions, go for it. I welcome it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was good. I hope I explained everything properly. Again, if I didn't, just ask, and I'm I'm happy to reply. As of what the what's the date today? Hang on, let me check. As of the 3rd of October, these are the most up-to-date routes. Um, if you are in the future, maybe there are new ones. But right now, these are the fastest routes that I can do. <laughs> there are only a few that are faster and I showed you them. I never actually managed to get them because I'm really bad at them. Um, but that should be everything you need to know to get top times in Aperture Tag. So thank you for watching. And end highlight. I'm going on a break.